Welcome to the Meadow Walk section of the Gainsborough Trail. This is a landscape which the well-known artist Thomas Gainsborough, who was born and educated in Sudbury, would have known and loved. The trail starts near the Kingfisher Leisure Centre, where there are good parking facilities. It is a circular walk of around 3.5 miles. Along the trail there are a number of interpretation boards, which will give you information about the next section, including plants, animals, features to look out for, and some history associated with the area. The Meadow Walk, which starts along the bed of the old Sudbury to Cambridge railway track, is marked throughout by blue way markers imprinted with the Kingfisher logo. Follow these and you won't go wrong. The first part of the trail gives access to Friars Meadow, a great place for a picnic before or after your walk, somewhere for children to let off steam or just a place to relax by the edge of the River Stour, watching the swans, ducks and birds and the cattle with their young on the opposite bank during the summer months. The Meadow Walk crosses several old railway bridges. The first passes over the entrance to the Key Basin, where you will see a fine brick-built warehouse, now the home to Sudbury's Key Theatre. Originally, locally made bricks were stored here before being transported down the River Stour by horse-drawn lighters and then onto London by barge. Another bridge crosses Bellingdon Street, a busy thoroughfare leading to the south and once a very separate part of Sudbury. Shortly after, you will come to the second interpretation board, which will tell you about the old pumping station, which was also Sudbury's former waste destructor works. When you walk down past the building towards the water meadows, look out for the marks on the wall showing flood levels in previous years. As you cross the meadows towards the Mill Hotel, look out also for kingfishers, which are often seen fishing near the Mill Pool. Turning left at the Mill Hotel, follow the Mill Stream to the floodgates, where the height of the river is controlled and further onto the croft, where there is a third interpretation board. Many people picnic here or take the opportunity to feed the ducks and the swans. Following the Kingfisher Way marker, continue along the river bank and cross the stour by the old bathing pool. Generations of Sudburyans learn to swim here. The sex is discreetly separated by a piece of cloth strung across the river. On the other side of the river, continue along the river bank, passing the Salmon Leap Weir and a World War II pillbox on the opposite bank. The area is rich in bird and insect life, including many butterflies and dragon and damselflies. If you are lucky, you will see a shy water vole. A diagonal path across the meadows brings you to Brundon Lane and its resident flock of swans. Crossing the bridge and passing the mill leads you to the right and a nature reserve which brings you to the fourth interpretation board and back onto the old railway track. Making your way along the railway track, look out for the Deptford Pink, an endangered plant that still grows here, and other unusual plants like the Tway Blade Orchid. After passing under two Victorian bridges, the valley floor drops away, and you will see some great long views of the water meadows, which are carefully maintained and managed by the Sudbury Common Lands Charity and their team of rangers and volunteers. This is an ever-changing landscape, varying considerably with the seasons. We invite you to visit in person and enjoy the very best of South Suffolk's countryside and everything Sudbury and its surrounding villages have to offer.